lost. All of us. We lost friends. We lost family. Today we have a chance to take it all back. We will. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. What's going on, moviegoers? So if you're new to the channel, my name is Christian, and welcome to Sea Roll Productions, you guys. So in this video, we're gonna have a little discussion and talk about who should defeat slash kill Thanos in Avengers Endgame, and what would their motive for defeating Thanos be, or even if Marvel Studios should kill Thanos off. Because I feel like a part of me wants to see Thanos die, but another part of me is like, he's the greatest villain I've seen on the big screen. He's up there with Darth Vader. He's up there with Voldemort. Do I want Thanos to die after us, you know, getting him really just in two to three movies? Kind of no, right? I, I, I want him to stick around for a while. I want him to interact with some of these Fox characters that Marvel will be receiving, you know, when they decide to throw these characters in their movies. Like, I want to see a Thanos interact with all these other characters. I really do. Um, but even if they decide, you know, we have to, you know, we have to kill them off. Who should be the one to do this? Who should be the one to kill the mad Titan Thanos? Now, I've come up with an entire list and everybody in this movie that, that we know right now, right? And obviously, there, 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 there's some people who it's, it's really a no-brainer that you, that you would think that should be the one to defeat Thanos because of the motives and reasonings behind it, right? So right off the bat, Nebula. Nebula is a character that would have definitely, definitely great motive to kill Thanos. Why? Pretty much ripped her apart when she was a kid, replaced her with all these mechanics, took her from her home planet, killed Gamora. They've never had a great relationship. Always envied Gamora's relationship with Thanos. He always treated Gamora 10 times better than, you know, how she treated, how he treated her. So Nebula has great reasonings behind this. Um, and of course, you know, when I say all these names, yes, this means, you know, let's, let's put, let's put it on the category of half of the, half of humanity was killed. Half of the universe was killed. That's a motive for everybody when I'm talking about these, all these characters. Thor killed Loki. Did Thanos kill Loki? That would obviously be, a uh, uh, um, a great reason for Thor to be upset and, you know, wanting to take his revenge on, on Thanos. Killed his best friend, Heimdall. Took out half of the Asgardians. Half of the Asgardians. And pretty much just lost the battle at the end of Infinity War. So it, it, it kind of makes sense why Thor would want to go after Thanos, especially, you know, if he, if he truly believes that, you know, Loki is dead and Loki did die, right? That, that's, that's, a, that's a, a significant reason right there alone. Um, Iron Man obviously killed half of the universe. That's a great reason. Watch Peter die right in front of him. He took Peter in under his wing, kind of trained him, yo, this is what you have to do, you know, to be an Avenger or whatnot. So I, I, that meant a lot to him, obviously. Killing Doctor Strange, you know, from the little time he knew Doctor Strange in Infinity War. Um, possibly, when, when Tony gets back to Earth, possibly killed Pepper. We don't know if Pepper's alive. We don't know for sure. It's not 100% for sure that we know that Pepper's alive. So possibly killed Pepper. And maybe their unborn child. Imagine if she wrote Tony like a little note or whatnot saying... You know, I, I, I'm pregnant. And, you know, he gets back to Earth and he reads it and he finds out. He's like, what? Like, Pepper died and his unborn child? That would be crazy. Um, and obviously, killed Vision. He helped create Vision. So he has a little soft spot for Vision. Um, Hawkeye killed his wife and kids. 
that is a great motive right there. I can't wait to see, how bad is that? I can't wait to see um, Hawkeye and you know, how that, that snap affected him. Like many people are speculating and saying, in that second trailer where he's teaching his daughter how to shoot, you know, that's gonna be the scene. He's stuck, he's not stuck, well he obviously he can't go anywhere because he, he's on house arrest after the events of Civil War, right? So most people are speculating, saying that's the scene where Hawkeye is going to experience a snap and his family's going to disappear right in front of his eyes. So Hawkeye has great motive as, as well. Um, even killing Scarlet Witch, you know. He, Scarlet Witch kind of meant something to him. Captain America. Killed his two best friends, Bucky and Falcon. Wiped out half of the universe. Killed Vision and killed Scarlet Witch and beat him in combat. And that's the greatest motive. Captain America, we can all agree, lives for war. He's, 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 he, he, he always fights. And what did, what did, what did, oh my God, um, I'm trying to think, what did, what did Ultron say in Age of Ultron? Pretend that you can live without war. Perfect line, right? So Captain America has great reasons behind Killing Thanos as well. Black Widow killed some of the Avengers, wiped out half of the humanity. She's affected. Um, Hulk. Now, possibly killed Betty. Because if you remember in the scene where, uh, in the first trailer, when you saw the Hulk or Bruce looking at photos of all like the dead Avengers or whatnot, maybe he searches Betty and Betty's deceased that would be a great reasoning right there he has a soft spot for Betty still even though he's in love with Scarlet Witch he probably still has a soft spot for Betty that would make sense um obviously he had killed half of humanity and uh him and him and Thanos got into it when he was the actual Hulk in the beginning of Infinity War and got his ass beat <laughs> that's a huge uh uh, motive right there um, and also the death of Vision as well because he helped co-create Vision with Tony and Ultron Captain Marvel now Captain Marvel most people are like I do not want Captain Marvel to kill Thanos I just don't that's what people are saying she hasn't earned it yet and I agree that doesn't mean I don't want Captain Marvel to give Thanos those hands I don't want Captain Marvel to kill Thanos, period. But we might have some motive of why she would want to kill Thanos. Obviously, the snap could have affected her in some kind of way. Obviously, Nick Fury, she got to Earth. Where's Fury? He's dead. Boom. Her and Fury, were, you know, were close. You know, even Monica and her daughter, they could have been affected by the snap. That's a motive right there. but there, So there is motive and reasoning behind it. It's just, I don't think the build up for Captain Marvel, you know, to kill Thanos would be appropriate. It just wouldn't. Rocket killed damn near all the Guardians of the Galaxy and Groot. That's motive right there. Okoye killed Black Panther. She's loyal to that throne. And the snap killed the king killed T'Challa and a bunch of Wakandans, a bunch of them. Maybe even her boyfriend, Wakabi, if they're still dating. Because you know how Wakabi, you know, at the end of Black Panther, didn't see eye to eye with T'Challa or whatnot. And he sided with Killmonger. We don't really know how that affected the relationship with Okoye and Wakabi. Um, Ant-Man, motive. Hank Pym died, Janet, um, and the Wasp. We don't know if Cassie's alive or not. She could be dead, you know, his ex, his ex-wife, people he loved. You know, that, that's a motive right there. Um, and others, you have to really think about it. Remember, this snap not only affected people on Earth, but half of the universe. So there's definitely going to be people out there who's gonna want some questions answered and figured out to why some of their loved ones are dead. 
So I wouldn't be surprised if we've seen a bunch of cameos in this movie. It would only make sense, right? Why wouldn't you want to go after somebody who killed your family? It affected half of the entire universe. The universe. So I expect to see some surprise cameos in this movie. Um, maybe even, you know, you know when, when Drax comes back to life. Drax has great motive because he blames Thanos for killing his family, right? Um, obviously, Star-Lo would, would have great motive if Gamora did not return. You know, fucking kill Gamora. To her, off to, right off that damn, you know, Soul World, you know, mountain that they were on. But it, it's crazy. It, it could be a collective thing as well when you really think about it. It could be a whole collective thing of maybe they all join together to kill Thanos, right? That they, they wish everybody back and it's just a collective effort and everybody beats Thanos down. Something along those lines. But if I had to pick one person to do, do the, to do the doing, it would possibly be Nebula. I feel like Nebula has earned it. That has always been her main goal, main mission since her first introduction, Nebula. Nebula would be my pick to kill Thanos. But who knows, you guys, we still got about a month and like a week and a half left until this movie actually comes out. Um, but I'm excited. I am super pumped to see what the hell happens. I'm super excited to see how the snap effect of the entire universe. Um, I just can't wait in general, you guys. It's gonna be a lot of fun. But post your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. Who should kill Thanos? Or do you even think Thanos should die in Avengers Endgame? Post your comments down below, you guys. And thank you for taking time out of today for watching Zero Productions. Peace.